Hey, what's up everyone? I woke up in the middle of the night and decided to uh, make, just felt like making a video right now and sharing some things with you all. I'm, right now I'm using the mini mic. I'm using the mini mic right now, so hopefully you can hear me clearly. So hopefully there's no issues. It's mini mic. Doctor, Doctor Evil, mini mic, mini me. <laughs> anyway, but with that being stated, I uh, just wanted to just wanted to talk. Wanted to talk. Um, earlier, um, my daddy was talking about several things, and the reason why I'm talking about Elon Musk here is because artificial intelligence stuff. That's going to be the topic. That's going to be the main topic of the video. That's one of. The, well, actually, that's one of the topics. I thought it was interesting how uh, Elon Musk talked about. Uh, artificial intelligence and he said that right there had a caption called we did you know because of artificial intelligence and there was a robot that's able to run a jump and do backflips and all of that well uh there's the good the bad and the scary the good news is the advancements of connectivity connection with all of us and all of these uh you know all of the uh, connections that we have and through the internet that we can share now but the negatives is the uh, the impact that AI is having as far as control and how he said that soon you'll need a stroke you'll need you'll need a uh, let's see what was it he said that was nothing he said this is nothing in a few years that bottle moves so fast you'll need a strobe light just to see it sweet dreams everyone and that's what Elon Musk stated he's talking about the advancements of technology but <clears throat> what I'm going to talk about for this video is the advancement of the awakening so that's what I'll talk about through part of the video when you search awakening you see several spiritual images and moving on to this topic that's what I wanted to talk about I don't want to talk about a scare tactic or any type of uh, fear pushing agenda type of thing that's not what I want to do. You see a lot of YouTubers out there that do that and then they'll say, give me money. They'll be like, it's the end of this world, give me money. <laughs> or, we're going to die, give me money, by the way. You know, things like that. Uh, I did recently have a PayPal, and I recently, I mean, I did sign up to that, and I put that link below my previous video. But then it turns out that uh, PayPal then just messaged me. I had $3, someone gave me for a movie code on Google+. Plus. I shared a movie code that I didn't need uh, that... I already had the movie, and then I just, I got another, like, an updated version. I was like, well, I had a, it was like a sale at uh, the store that I had, I mean, it was like, and I, that I got for Christmas, this movie of, uh, let's see, I can't remember, I think uh, I got a sale on The Grinch, they had a sale, and uh, I got this updated version. And so I sold it. So I got $3. This person gave me $3 through email, and they, it got sent to my PayPal. So that PayPal message then messaged me later and told me that I won't be able to use all my account features until I provide them with uh, detailed information, uh, identity background check and all that stuff. So I'll have to get that sorted out. And so I don't know if I'll be able to receive donations right now or not. So I'll let you know when that's sorted out. But the awakening background, I don't know, I just I don't know why I went on talking about all that before I went on to this, but anyway, the awakening talk I wanted to talk about was my daddy called and he, you know, he talked tonight about various things that happened. So, several things. Someone that works at his trucking company seen this person they could have killed it could have it could have been bad for them. But the vehicle narrowly missed them. It went off the median and then just went over and flew into the air and then hit the uh, side of the bridge. Just boom, hit the wall. He and another person, another driver, he was trying to flag people down to help this woman. She had two children in the back. And she... and that My daddy witnesses a lot on the road. I mean, you as a truck driver, you witness a lot. Obviously. But... I mean, positive and negative, but... This person, um, it's another driver at his company, witnessed that, and he went over there to try to help, and this other individual tried to help, and he got an object to break the window open because she was leaning all the way over. <clears throat> she was leaning all the way over on the other side of the vehicle. 
And so they broke the window open. The doors were all jammed. They got her out. They got her. They leaned her seat back and got her back to breathing again. She wasn't breathing. And he said, it appears that she had a seizure. And she had two children in the back. They asked the children if they were okay. They were old enough to answer, apparently. And they said if they hadn't have got her to breathing again, she would have died. It appeared she had tried to swallow her tongue, you know, and everything. Her tongue had gone back in her throat because she must have had a seizure. That's the only explanation that they came up with. Um, that she just went out and had a seizure. So, you know, just blacked out and had a seizure. And so they called 911. Eventually, they finally got there. They said they took forever. They said that the EMS took for, took forever to get there. And if they had not have helped, if they hadn't have stopped, if that truck driver hadn't have stopped that worked for Daddy's company, or the company Daddy drives for, had not have gotten there, she would have died. She would have been she would have been gone. He said, I don't know if it was a grandmother or a mother or what, but but the point is, several things have happened this week. My daddy's wrist has been hurting really badly, and suddenly after I noticed that orb that went into our truck and I decided I was compelled to put eleven dollars in the tank, came, and the penny appeared, rolled, nineteen ninety eight, penny, shiny. And then the orb went into the truck. His wrist has been better so far. Thankfully. Both my mama and I really prayed for that, so Thankfully, it's gotten better. I don't want to jinx it, so I'm going to stop talking about that. But, so many things have happened this week. And he suddenly had this, he just started thinking about everything. And he was stating, he told me to thank you all. You know, and I, obviously, I do. And uh, my mama and I and daddy, or mama, daddy and I are very appreciative of all of you. All of your prayers. All of your love and kindness and Everything, positivity that you've sent. Because for one thing, like he stated, if it weren't for those of you all going through this crazy journey, if it weren't for all of you going through these crazy experiences, the supernatural, interdimensional, paranormal, spiritual, all these shifts, we would have no one to share with. If it weren't for the internet... And he said, uh, today he said, I felt something beyond what I could explain. He said, I can't explain what we're going through. And uh, like this person shared with me a long time ago, someone shared on my channel with me. And I felt, and I see the fact that it feels that we are awakening, that I'm awakening, that we're all, I have my ups and downs in spirituality and faith. But the common, the core belief, I believe that Jesus Christ is forgiver and redeemer. And I believe in God the Source. And the Holy Spirit will guide me through. I hope so. I hope guide me to good fortune. I hope. Um, but I know he uh, he had several experiences that just made him think about everything. And he stated that how thankful he was for all of you. He wanted me to convey how thankful that and my mama and I are as well. As well for all of you with your kind with your kindness and. Whether it's something as simple as a movie change or a logo change or just ex Sasquatch experience, spiritual experiences, hearing and seeing things, we all commonly, it seems, in the Mandela Effect community found each other and experienced these similar things. And he was talking about that, how some of the things that have happened to him, he said, did not happen until I was born, that my spirit is something very powerful, that I've lived multiple times. Like Someone told me that they are a seer online, and they said somehow I was like a warrior. And they stated that I had conquered many of the enemy. I know this sounds strange. It sounds very strange to those that don't understand. But someone actually commented and said, Don't ask me how I know, but I've conquered many reptilians or something. That I, my soul or spirit has slayed many reptilians. That's what they told me. That I've conquered many evil or, or those on the dark side. But I don't remember. And that's why they are... Con uh, that's why they are constantly seeking me out. So, that's what someone told me. But the, uh, like, like he stated, if it weren't for those of you all out there who experienced these experiences as well, we'd be alone in this. And sometimes, you know, it seems like, oh man, no, we're just so, we are alone. But yet, since I have you all, 
I had to plug the tablet up before it just shuts off. It'll do that once it gets to 70%. I don't know why. But if I, since I have you all, I know others experience it. And it's a, that's a blessing. Because of the internet, we can share. And that's a beautiful thing. And uh, he's talked to several Native American Indians, especially up in the, the Choctaw Nation and uh, Kansas. Let's see, you know, over in Missouri. And he, when he went to uh, Oklahoma, when he would go to Oklahoma more, he got to speak to several of the, uh, the people in the tribes of those areas. And they talked about how we had portals on our property and portals that various things, good and bad, positive and negative, go through. But there are things higher that you can't see that they can... And he was talking about the uh, the Sasquatch activity that we experienced, that no one's going to be able to find them as a physical object or physical being and actually be able to capture them because they're not what people understand. They're not what the common collective science community understands because they're beyond that. So basically what, what they were telling him is they could be a rabbit, he said they could be a dog, they could be a cat, they could be an, just a bird, a regular animal, whatever. They could act as another animal in a spirit form they're beyond they're spirits and they can be uh, they can become physical and the natives told him that they can become whatever they're beyond what m what m most humans comprehend and he stated that the natives talked to daddy and told him that that uh you know, i had i must have been very spiritual to experience this and you know the same that I felt, that I felt like I've lived many times, that past, I just feel, I feel it. That I feel like I keep moving on over and over. And that this is not the only time I've been. And that I feel like I come from somewhere else, that's what my soul, and I've lived somewhere. And he, he was saying that, that that's probably the way it is. Like, that's the way I've, but we're going home. We get a chance to do this, that... Uh, some feel strongly that this is our final chance. And uh, may the Lord bless us. I mean, so many people um, in this world have experienced visions of past existences and alternate... We've experienced alternate universes even while we're alive. That's a whole other scenario, but while we're alive in this this life but it just feels so I feel so deeply connected to all of that that I don't even know how to begin to convey it to you I, I mean I can't even begin to I can't begin to convey it to you I really can't even let's see I mean I really can't even begin to convey what I'm trying to say because it's so deep and complex that it's difficult to put into comprehensible words but we are more than our bodies I mean we are beyond and sometimes it feels like you know when I go through that darkness like well what's the point you know what is this all about and then right now I, I don't feel that way so it's like then suddenly I get it and suddenly and to that person, by the way, that's recently emailed me and stated that they don't feel like talking right now because they're going through darkness, I get it. I get it. Just message me whenever you're comfortable. And I'll try to message back as soon as possible. But I mean, then right now I'm thinking about it and thinking the fact that we are alive living a conscious existence right now I mean, what's the likelihood of that that we are living in that we're consciously aware of existence that in all of the vastness that we are that we are conscious and that we are aware and many of us are beginning to awaken and I've been awakening for many years and it's actually been very it was very painful when I was beginning to go through those stages I mean, it was very, very painful. But, like my daddy was stating, all of these people that experience these things, those that don't, they don't get it. And 
we've experienced spirit activity, and there's good and bad in spirit activity, but like the Native American Indian stated, these things can go into your animals, they can be there, they can go, they can be physical, non-physical, uh, some are good and some are bad, uh, they can be all kinds of beings, they can be Sasquatches, they can be, and then the Sasquatches can suddenly be something else, these spirit beings, can they can be, and the natives actually experienced it, they know, and they know. They spoke to Daddy about it, and they know what they know. They they know. The Native American Indians know know about these things. They are completely awake and aware to them. Like if you look up the blue and red Kachina prophecy from what 500 years ago or so. That details. It explicitly did well. You know, not explicitly as in like you get what I mean. It specifically details our 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 modern times in which we live the shifting all of that and uh, but I just wanted to state this message that we're awakening and it's a blessing that we can share I've got so much more to talk about but from my family my parents and, and myself to you all happy holidays Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and I'm glad I'm thankful that we can share and uh I, we just I just wanted to to share that message so peace and much love everyone that's all for now bye